Hello guys and welcome back to Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Multiplayer my friends. Today we're going to be using another reactive camo and today we're going to be using the Maddox RFB, the Carbon Cobra signature weapon with the APB reactive camo. I thought to myself, to you know what, I've already got a reactive camo for this weapon. Um, I think it's called the Rampage, which if you guys haven't already seen the video on it, you will see a video on it real soon. Um, but Asita's, this is the other reactive camo that you can get for this weapon. And the seaters, I thought, you know what, let's just make a video on it, you know what I mean? Make a video on it and show you guys some gameplay with it. And believe it or not, I do like the Maddox. It's a pretty good assault rifle within this game. But it's not an assault rifle that I would normally use on a regular basis. It's one of them things that, you know, from rare occasions, from time to time, maybe once a week possibly, maybe once or twice a week, I'll, you know, use this weapon with a multiplayer just to try and get a couple of streaks with it. But in zombies, I did tend to use this weapon quite a lot, though, in zombies. So, it's just one of them sorts of things. But when you got a good loadout on this weapon, though, it always, feel, always does feel rewarding, you know what I mean? Nice. And the operator mod for it as well, I think it's called Echo Fire, I think it's called. It's always good to use on it as well, so I do recommend it. I'll quit the operator mod for this weapon if you... Use this weapon. Come on, Aaron. Come on, come on, come on, come on. This gun is just a god gun now, I'm not gonna lie. There's so many, like, big YouTubers out there that um, use this weapon quite a lot in their videos and stuff. Like, um, there's one YouTuber I do watch um, quite a lot of when it comes to, you know, just gun skill within Call of Duty is a YouTuber called Sway. Like, you've probably um, seen him. It's pretty, pretty good, and he knows his stuff. I did used to watch the, um, is it the Mark of J? You know what I mean? Back in the old, old Call of Duty games, when he's just going around saying games like Black Ops 3, and he's just absolutely dominating. And, um, Shawnee Dogs and stuff. They were some really good YouTubers, so I do recommend it, guys. Go and, go and check them out. If you want to see some, like, amazing Call of Duty gameplay, trust me. Like, you've got good players out there who are just really good, and then you've got them players and they're just like goddesses at the game. Right. Let's try and keep an eye out for enemies. I can't see anybody. Very nice. Try and listen out for them footsteps. Because a lot of enemies um, haven't got dead silence on their classes. So it's always a bonus. So obviously for people like myself who are always using headsets and stuff, uh, we always do like listen out for footsteps, you know what I mean? It's just a thing that you do when you're playing Call of Duty, but my tip to everybody out there if it is whether you're just a normal standard casual Call of Duty player or you maybe you're new to Call of Duty and you just want some tips, always use dead like dead silence on your classes, please, because the amount of times people have gone so angry and quit games and just don't want to enjoy them, like they can't enjoy them anymore because people like myself will sound whore like hell just because you haven't got one requirement on your classes, which is dead silence. So please save yourself having a bad time playing Call of Duty. Just Put dead silence on, okay? It does work a charm. Because I, I, I even see it with my brother, like literally, my brother, um, I've got two brothers, but my younger brother Callum, when he plays Call of Duty, he doesn't put dead silence on his classes. And then, you should see, for example, his anger, what he's like when he gets, like, taken down by people, like, how does he know where I am? Like, what's, how does he know... What I was gonna do and where I was coming from is because it's because of that reason, you know what I mean? Because you gotta think it's pretty loud, you can hear footsteps and environments and stuff, so if you just knocked a pot within the game, a pot over or something, or just jump for a window and you're running across a wooden floor or something, we can hear that. You know what I mean? So we know where you are. If we're obviously learning the maps really well. And believe it or not, I, I that's how sometimes I get my streaks, you know what I mean? In games, I proper sound hall. Obviously, I know the maps fairly well, and I try and 
you know, predict where I believe you are and how to counter you. Which is what a lot of players do these days. Especially in games like Battle Royale games as well. Like, I do it a lot in Battle Royale games. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Keep an eye out for these enemies. You need to figure out where they're coming from. I think they're coming from... Go on. Yeah, they're coming from over here. Definitely coming from over this area. Yo, 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 yo. Who shot me then? Alright, come on, Ajax. I need you for this one. <laughs> You're not going to be taking me down, boys. Not with my ballistic shield and my mini, well, machine pistol. Thing is ridiculously OP. Nice. Ah, uh, you had to double counter me, you know what I mean? Had to have someone on the other side to take me down. Other than that, if it was just him on his own, I would have melted him. You guys know that I would have melted him. This is what the camera looks like, boys. It looks really good. So, yeah, let me know down below in the comment section do you have the APB reactive camo? within Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Let me know if you use it, you know what I mean? Let me know if it's one of them sort of reactor cameras you like to equip on your weapons. Like, I use a lot of reactor camos and stuff when I'm playing zombies, personally, but... Multiplayer, depending on how I'm feeling, you know what I mean? It's just one of them things. I like to change them up every now and then, because it feels a little bit more fresher when I'm playing multiplayer. Just give your guns a little bit of a, you know, different look every now and then. Nice. And then trust me, get taken down there. Fair play. Right. Where is everybody? Sentry guns killing people, which is good. trying to not like stay too much in the open you want to always stick with near cover just something that gives you that just a slight chance to be able to get out of a gunfight and be able to reposition yourself before encountering an enemy I don't think I've seen someone no it's a team member I was going to chase after him then and try and gun him down but fair play good job I didn't Last thing I want is angry team members trying to kill me. Ah! Fair play. I shouldn't have really mantled over there. I should have just tried and shoot him, but I want to try and, you know, push towards him a little bit. The downside with this weapon is you don't have a grip for it, which is always a bad thing with it, you know what I mean? Come on. 17 and 7, it's not too bad. Trying to see if we can sneak up on the enemies as well. The thing is to keep constantly flipping the spawn, so it's really aggravating because you just don't know where which which part of the spawn to go towards. It that's the problem with Call of Duty maps, with them being small maps, uh, small to medium sized maps, it's like it's very annoying sometimes because you'll get over into the enemy spawn 
and they'll flip the spawns and then you pretty much you made all that journey for nothing. So I think what they should do for future Call of Duty, like Call of Duty development, add more players in, but make the maps a bit more bigger. Because Asita's, me personally, I like I like bigger maps. This is why I liked Call of Duty Ghosts and stuff because they had some really big maps in that game. Um, but so no, it's just one of them things I do suggest. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know down below in the comment section, do you have the reactive camo? Um, if you do, let me know if you use it a lot or whether you use different camos within the game. And I'll catch you again next time with another brand new video. Take care and hope you all have a marvellous day. See you all again real soon.